did you know that God wants to talk to you? He wants to have a relationship with you. Um, your God, the God of the universe, the God of the Bible is a loving, caring Father and He wants to have a relationship with you. He wants to talk to you and get to know you and have you get to know Him. He wants to spend time with you. And in Genesis 2 and 3, it says that in the Bible that God walked in the Garden of Eden with Adam and Eve and He talked with them and He spent time with them. And God's the same today. He still wants to walk with you. He wants to talk with you and He wants to be a part of your life. Um, what happened was sin happened to enter into the world and kind of destroyed that. But Jesus came to restore you back to relationship with God so that He can talk to you again and He can be a part of your life. 2 Corinthians 5, 18 through 21, I'd like to read to you. And it says, And all of this is a gift from God, who brought us back to Himself through Christ. And God has given us this task of reconciling people to Him. For God was in Christ, reconciling the world to Himself, no longer counting people's sins against them. And He gave us this wonderful message of reconciliation. So we are Christ's ambassadors. God is making this appeal through us. We speak for Christ when we plead, come back to God. For God made Christ, who never sinned, to be the offering for our sin, so that we could be made right through God, through Christ. Now, because of what Jesus did and what we just read, you can enjoy God talking to you, a real relationship with God who wants to make himself known to you. What we just said said, he's not an angry God. He's not mad at you. He's not holding your sins against you anymore. He's a loving father who wants to have a relationship with you, his kid. He wants to help guide you to have a great life. John 10.10, 10, Jesus said, the thief's purpose, that's Satan, is to steal, kill, and destroy. But my purpose is to give them a rich, satisfying life. So what does God want to talk to you about? He wants to talk to you about your life. He wants to reveal himself to you. He wants to talk to you about your future plans. He wants to help guide your life so that you have that rich, satisfying, prosperous life. He wants to help you make decisions on everyday things. He cares about you and he cares about every part of your life. He wants to make sure that just like a good dad, that he's there to help guide you in your life. Now, um, even if you've made fun of him, if you've rejected him, if you've walked away from him, if you've made fun of him and gone your own way, God still loves you and he still cares about you and he still wants to have that relationship. All you have to do is open up your heart to him. All you have to do is start the conversation and talk to him because he wants to talk to you. So if you've never done that before, it's really easy. You just say, God, I want to believe in you. Can you just talk to me? Can you show me? Can you show up? Can you be real? And I promise you that he'll be there. I promise you that he'll start talking to you and making himself real to you. If you already kind of believe in God, but you've never really invited him into your life, you've never invited him to be your dad, you've never invited him to be a part of your life and help guide you, that's real simple too. You can have a talk with God that's really simple that say, God, I do believe in you. I do believe what I just heard, that you sent Jesus to pay the price for my sin, and I accept that gift, and I want you to come and be in my heart. I want you to come and be in my life. I want you to start talking to me and showing me how to have that rich, abundant life. If you just talk to him simply like that, like a child to a father, he will come in and he'll start leading you and guiding you how to have a great life. And the other thing that God does is he listens. He listens to everything that you have to say about your problems, your concerns, your cares. And then he shows you the answer and he helps and leads and guides you. If you've already accepted him into your life, but maybe you don't feel like you hear him on a constant basis or on a regular basis, just invite him in. Say, God, start the conversation. Say, God, I want to talk to you. I want you to be real in my life. I invite you to come in and live in my life and to start talking to me more. You can take that leap of faith and talk to him like he's your best friend. It's not complicated to talk to God and he doesn't make it complicated to have a relationship with him. So right now, 
I just pray that anybody watching this video, that you'll just be touched in a powerful way by God, that you will come into encounters with His Spirit and with Him, and that He'll make Himself real to you. And today, God will talk to you, and that you'll talk to Him.